Hey guys, and Happy New Year to ya. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season with your families and your loved ones. One thing I always love about the holidays is the time off from work that I get to myself. Um, are you guys like me and you need your alone time? I'm telling you, I sure do enjoy it. And something else I enjoy is pouring. So let's talk about this piece for just a second. Um, this is a 12 by 24 deep edge canvas. I am showing you some primary element colors that I'm going to paint the canvas first as a background. And then I'm gonna put some paint on top of it. And when it dries, uh, those colors will kind of show through. But I felt like doing an angel wing pour um, using some TLPs. Uh, really, really pretty colors. And uh, I'll show those colors here in just a little bit when I get ready to do the pour. But thank you guys so much for being here. Please excuse my voice. I am still trying to get over a cold. Uh, the last thing to go is always the cough. And it tends to make me hoarse, so I lose my voice really, really easy. Uh, so I'm gonna be quiet and uh, let you guys watch and I'll jump back on here in just a bit. Now don't forget, I'm gonna be teaching this technique at the Fluid Art Experience in Asheville, North Carolina, May 23rd through the 25th. I'm gonna show you a very, very cool pouring medium to use with this technique to make sure you get the results you want. We're gonna play with the composition, get some, uh, some different takes on it, and just experiment and have a great time. I know tickets are going like crazy, so book early, uh, book your events, 
book everything as soon as you can, and I can't wait to see you there. I'm sorry for the view here. I am trying to get as much of that base coat off the canvas as possible. When you're doing this technique, the only purpose of that base coat is to have something for those colors in that cup to glide on uh, when they're sliding down the canvas, when it's set up at an angle. So that's why it was taken just a little bit longer uh, to get all of that gray base coat off as I could. And if you notice here when I'm pouring, I'm not moving the cup back and forth um, like a lot of people do. And actually that is the right way to do it. But I just wanted to see what kind of little fingerlings, tendrils, um, whatever you want to call them, would form by pouring it just really slow and as stationary as I could possibly make it. Um, it was okay. It wasn't as cool as moving it back and forth, which I will do on the next one. Um, but I think it always pays to experiment just a little bit and see what kind of different effects you can get.
thought this was such a cool composition, how the paints uh, kind of joined at the bottom there. Um, I've never had them do that before. And uh, so I'm just, I'm kind of looking at this painting going, and I, and I kind of knew already before I did it um, that I was just gonna go ahead and tilt off the ends uh, just to give it a different kind of look. Like I said, there's so many different outcomes to this particular pour. Um, yes, you can do some really cool angel wings, but I'm thinking more of the composition and making it a really cool piece of art. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm just kind of playing with it before my class um, in a few months. These colors are so pretty together, especially that cinnamon. It's an earth tone metallic, and you guys know I love those colors. Um, very, very pleased with this piece. I love how the colors play together. I like the composition. It's a little bit different. Um, love the sparkle underneath the coat of resin, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I really like how subtle the primary elements are as the background. Um, it just gives the piece a little more interest and uh, kind of gives the base coat like a marbly look with some uh, hints of color there. Really, really do like this piece. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Again, I apologize for my voice. Trying to get over this cold, talking too much, just never works. Anyway, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.